Hello, this is Reza Rat from Red Acad. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is a shared data set, uh, how you can use it and why it is useful. Let's go and see about it. Uh, what you see right now in this diagram is actually a shared data set. I'm in the Power BI website and this data set is shared between three reports. Um, and the data set itself is coming from two different data sources. So I'm going to talk about this. What is this and how this works? First of all, this is a shared data set. Now, how a shared data set actually works? Um, to understand that, first you have to understand what is a data set in Power BI. Uh, let's go and have a look at a Power BI uh, file example. So here I have a Power BI desktop open with this file. Um, when, and when I save it, it becomes a file with the extension of PBIX. So everything is in that file. Everything is in one file with PBIX extension. However, uh, when I go to the task manager in my computer, and if I expand the thread that is related to the Power BI desktop, I'm trying to find that. Uh, so if I open that and I have two Power BI desktop open, so it might take um, like more than one set of threads under that. But under Power BI desktop, which I'm trying to expand in here, um, you see that I have also I have the Power BI desktop itself and I have two instances of Power BI desktop. That is why we see two things here. But I also have something called Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services. Now. This is installed on a machine that doesn't have analysis services installed separately. So what this is, and I have one per each instance of Power BI. So analysis services, SQL Server Analysis Services Tabular Edition is what Power BI um, data engine is based on. When you import data into Power BI, you are actually importing it into a SQL Server Analysis Services tabular engine. And Power BI itself installs that. That is where the data lives. That is where the data set lives. And then we have a report as a layer on top of it, which shows the visualization. But you don't see this separation in Power BI desktop. Uh, all you see is one Power BI file. When you publish this into the website, however, in the website, if I switch this to a list view, in the website, um, for example, here, you see that I have two different files with exactly the same name. One of them is report, another is the data set. The report is the one that includes all the visualizations, charts, dashboards, um, all the colors, uh, everything to do with the visualization. The data set is on the other hand side, uh, holds anything about the data, the tables, the power query transformation that loads the data into these tables, the connection to the source, the relationship between tables, calculated columns, measures, calculated tables. If you have hierarchies in your model, any formattings you do on the field level, um, such as data category, such as display folders, anything like a um, format setting of the field itself, anything to do with that is all part of the model and it is in the data set. Data set is a place that you refresh your data versus the report is a place that you share with other users. So there are actually two objects, a report and a data set. So now that you know what the data set is, let's talk about how a data set can be a shared data set. Any data set in Power BI environment can be used as a shared data set in the Power BI website. First, you need to have it in the Power BI website. So if you have a Power BI um, report, the first action would be publishing it. When you publish it to the service, then it will be added to the service. Now I have already some data sets in the service. Now in the service, I can go and uh, click on the three dots in front of one of these data sets. And one of the actions for me would be to create a report. Now, when I create a report like this, I'm creating a report that does not have a data set for itself. It is connecting to an existing data set. So this report wouldn't have a data set for itself. It's like a report with a live connection uh, when we create a Power BI report with a live connection. So I can do whatever visualization I want. Now imagine, let's say we just do one simple visualization worldwide sales value by title. 
So let's say I create this visualization, then I can save this report. And if I save this report, let's say report X from movies, I can save it in this workspace or any other workspace. So let's just keep it in this workspace. Then I get back to this workspace. And when I go and look at that report I just created, uh, now there are a lot of reports I created. I go to the content tab. This is the report that I created, but this report doesn't have a data set for itself. If I click on the three dots and say view lineage, I would see that this report is sourced from this data set. So this data set, in fact, is a source of four reports, right? So this report doesn't have a data set for itself. We call these thin reports, report that does not have a data set for itself. It's like a report with a live connection. How you can do that in Power BI Desktop? In Power BI Desktop, when you say get data, you can choose from Power BI data set or under the data hub, you can choose get data from Data Hub and Power BI Dataset. Both of these options will give you access to the Power BI Datasets that your account has access to. And then you would be able to see all the datasets. And when you select any of these datasets, let's say, for example, this dataset and you connect to it, it will create a report with live connection. So it would be thin report is a report with mm, like exactly the same situation of a live connection. As you see, it is saying down here that it is connected live to a Power BI data set. Uh, you can create report level measures, but not calculate a table or calculated columns. You can build your visualizations on, on top of it. If you want to do more modeling, you have to create a chained data set from it, which can be a composite model with direct query to uh, the Power BI data set that is outside of the scope of this uh, talk, so I'm not going to talk about it. Now, this report that we created up on top of that data set, we can publish it to the Power BI service and we can even publish it to another workspace. That is another thing about these uh, shared data set that you can have it across multiple workspaces. So now this data set that I have um, is actually uh, using, um, this data set is actually having multiple reports using it, but I can easily have data sets uh, reports that is using um, data sets from other workspaces. For example, if I go to this workspace where I have a report coming from another data set. So here you can see I have a report called, for example, movies thin report. Now this report, there is no data set for that in here. If I go and look at the view lineage, I see that this is coming from a data set, but you see this little icon beside it, like a linked icon. Previously, these used to be called as linked data set. Now they are called external data set. So external data set means that the data set that is not in this workspace is in another workspace. The difference of that with the normal works data set is that that data set lives in this workspace. So um, th that way I can create a report that connected to a data set even outside of workspace. Nothing really special about it. It's like a normal data set. This is just a link to that data set. It's not really a data set in this workspace. Now, uh, the main question that comes into mind is that why should we use shared data set? So you know what data set is, you know what the shared data set is. Now, why should you use a shared data set? Let's go through that as an example. Let's say um, I'm building this Power BI report in my team. It's a Power BI sales report. And I'm building all of these different calculations, models, tables, relationships. Now, my team recently hired uh, report visualizers, uh, someone who is really good at building vi report visualization. Let's say her name is Maggie. Maggie is good at building visualizations and she wants to build some really nice visualizations on top of this report that I've created. So how are we going to share this um, experience? Uh, because at the same time that she wants to build visualizations, I want to still do my modeling calculations. I want to bring a couple of more tables do more relationships, I, I cannot tell her to wait until I finish or I cannot wait until her finishes. We want, we need to work at the same time. If I give you a copy, if I give her a copy of this file, then the problem is that we have two separate versions of the file. If she make a change and then I want to have my changes added to her file, then how this is going to work. It's not easy to have these two separate versions. Shared data set is helpful exactly in these types of situation. A shared data set is 
bringing a layer for you, which I'm going to show you in this diagram, uh, which is um, a diagram I explained in another video separately uh, about a Power BI solution architecture. The layer in the middle is where your shared data set is. You are separating your modeling layer from the rest of the model. You can have multiple report visualizers visualizing the data from your, from your data set. And at the same time, you are actually building your data set. So there would be um, like um, parallel access for the report visualizers and the data modeler to work at the same time on different parts of the solution rather than waiting, rather than having different versions of different things. And if you use Dataflow, you also get to use another layer of the component, which is uh, ETL layer. But the shared data set will give you the modeling layer, shared modeling layer. Now, uh, in addition to that, a shared data set, like any other object in the Power BI service, uses what we call as endorsement. So if I go to the normal view of the Power BI data sets now, a data set or a data flow, any of these objects can be endorsed. What is the endorsement? The endorsement is a labeling system that to go to do that, you can go to the setting of a data set. Under the setting of a data set, there is usually a section for endorsement and discovery. So this endorsement is a labeling system to help other developers, other report visualizers to understand that is this data set reliable to use because there might be like hundreds of data sets built by a lot of people, which one is more reliable to use? You can go and choose the one that is promoted or certified. For certifying data sets, normally there is a process involved. So by default, not everyone can certify a data set. Power BI admin in your tenant can enable or disable that. And that is under admin portal, tenant settings. Uh, there's a place for certifying uh, and you can choose who can certify the data set. There is also another thing which is about discovery setting, which tells that are the promoted um, or the certified content discoverable or not and all those configuration around it. Um, promoted and Certified data set are like the concept of gold, silver, bronze report that the gold data set is the one that fully tested. Everyone can use it without any problems. Probably it's been created by someone who knew what he's been doing, peer reviewed versus a data set that is not even promoted, probably has not been through the test process or anything like that. So here it is, the shared data set, a data set that you can share across multiple reports. I strongly recommend you to use it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you don't use it, why you don't use it. And if you like our videos, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and AI. Thank you.